The best advice that I've ever been given was from a former teammate, Brian Bennett, and he always told me that happy kids ski fast. No matter how racing's going, I just remember my love for the sport and the passion I have for it. It's supposed to be fun, that's why you started the sport in the beginning, so go out and have fun and really enjoy the competition. Come race day, I felt the need always to kind of amp it up another level. Someone said on the days where you're a little more relaxed and you're having fun, that's when you're winning. Making sure I'm smiling through the rounds has made a huge difference. Every time you pull out of the gate, it's like a new adventure. You don't know exactly where you're going to be, where everyone else is going to be, and you have to somehow make your way to the front. If I'm behind at the start, I know that I have that alpine background. I know that I can arc turns pretty well and kind of rely on that a little bit. Confidence is something that you build and create over time, and the only way to get it is to have results and to improve from race to race and see those changes and just you know knowing that I can still get there, knowing that it just takes persistence and a lot of hard work. There is no rest days. You're always doing something. You're always trying to forward yourself putting in more effort than the guy next to you is a big part of it. It's super difficult to be competitive if you're by yourself. That's one of the great things about being on Team Canada is that we have lots of fast guys and we all have our different strengths and skiing together gives us a chance to work that stuff out before the heats. Being able to share ideas and, and share race footage and be able to coach each other when we train together, I'm able to see where there's passes available and I share that information with her and we share everything. It's like two brains instead of one. You know, you take a little piece of all the guys on the team and apply that to your life and your training and I think it can be a great way to find success. None of us would be here without our co coaches, our support staff. It's really this huge puzzle and everyone has a little piece in it. We're just helping them be the best version of themselves on each given race day. My philosophy is to make sure they're comfortable and they're in a good place. They can all ski. It's just how do they perform under pressure and what do you take going forward if you do have success? You know, how do you move on if you don't have success? It's all kind of a, it's a game, really. And, you know, they're at that stage, they, yeah, they want to win and they want to race and they want to ski fast. They're not traveling around the world to not do well. 